Hey guys, welcome to my classes of terror. I'll be explaining, I'll be playing each class and explaining what they do, what skills they have, and how awesome they are. Or not awesome, depending. Uh, but we'll start with checking out which species we have first. Uh, first we've got the human. Alone we gain hope, together we gain victory. Millennia of wandering brought the humans into contact with every other race living in the world of terror. Their knowledge and understanding of the civilized races made them the perfect coordinators for buildings and allied society. The Valkyrian Federation represents a new hope for the world with humans at its core. So, this is male and female human. Well, let's see what their outfits are for the warrior class. Their player skill required is 5 because they are DPS and also tank. So, let me show you what outfits they have for a warrior. You've got to think about what armor they have as well as their uh, species. If, you, if the armor uh, outfits is what you're looking for mainly as well as looks, then make sure then this is for you people. Because I know, I want to know what my outfits are going to be like. <laughs> Back. Back. Ew. Okay. The nice uh, characters they've shown us for uh, what they're gonna look like is pretty nice. Uh, I'm personally not a fan of the humans. The females are okay. I do have a female. Um, Again, the outfit is what made me go for the female for for a female warrior because look at that, it's kind of cool. Their armors are pretty nice. Now, interesting thing about them is the um, the cloth classes no, are based with no, sorry, the leather classes are the leather classes are based with the archer, the warrior, and the slayer, and they're all practically the same so there's not much difference with those they just have the same style outfits like that would also be for an archer and a slayer and this one as well because that's how just the way they do it. Ecstatic next happens to be my favorite class because they're sexy and they are into leather. Cunning, fiery and ready to seize their destiny. Known for their dark wh wiry humor and bold manner Castanics refuse to be chained to their dark past and now strive each day to forge a new future. Fierce and independent Castanics make superb allies or deadly enemies. I think they're pretty nice. So we'll start with the male one. See what outfits they wear. And I love the male outfits. See that outfit is sexy. He is generally sexy. The warrior again. I didn't get this one. Evasion tank or sustained DPS. It's a melee type, and he uses leather armor, like I said. I forgot to read this part. Quick attacks and high mobility make warriors essential to group play, but also survival, survivable while soloing. Tanking with this class is very possible, but also extremely difficult, which I will go through. If you choose a warrior to be a tank, be prepared for a challenge, and it is rather challenging, depending on if you want to go the agile way to tank or the defensive way to tank. Still cool. So let's see what they wear. probably see where I like these they're into leather a lot their horns change with their hair as well which is nice let's look at the female version you notice how they all seem to start dancing whenever they go into a class it's pretty interesting star outfits for female uh, are pretty nice actually Outfits for them are these. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> She's got like barely any other leg. But as I say in MMOs, the less armor, the more protected you are. Oh, it's such bullshit. But whatever. These are actually pretty nice. Damn. Hmm. I think I may have to make a... Castanic female. All the Castanic outfits are fucking hot. Who am I kidding? 
They're all awesomely amazing. The Amani are dragon-like classes, and they're super amazing. Freedom and honor are not given, but earned. After millionaire, millionaire as warrior, slaves to the giants, Amani are enthusiastic about the new area of equality. Their endurance of slavery and their newly won freedom demonstrate the strength of their bodies and of their will. The Amani strive to suppress the violent nature forced upon them by their captors. Given provocation, however, it will rise to the surface. So they're basically in your fucking face the brute type characters. But still nice. So let's take a look at them. I think the Amani warriors are very good. Again. They have no dick, and um, they um, they're they're um, they're showing, and it's it's interesting. So outfits, <laughs> they like to show skin. Like the Castanics, they like to show a lot of skin. Look at this. If they had a tail, they would be more dragon-like and more appealing to me. But they're still amazingly awesome anyway. You can't deny this class is not cool. Female warriors. Next. Again, their horns tie into their hair with these ones. Outfits for these girls are as follows. The Papori! They're, they're alright. I haven't really used one of these classes. I don't find them that appealing. If they weren't so chubby, then I probably would. Nature, not so, that I'm saying chubby is bad, it's just with animals is just really strange. Nature is eternal. Papori are nature. Nature guardians awakened by the Ellens. The Paporis uh, live harmoniously in the na natural world. The diminute, the, I can't read, the diminutive stature and warm fuzzy appearance realize their instinctive ferocity in battle. They may walk upright, but their emotions and instincts are closer to the animals they once were. Confident and unashed, Pories rarely feel guilt, embarrassment, or sadness. Now, only, they only come in, they only come in male, so we can't do much with them. Pick the warrior. Yeah. But you can design them to be like dogs or cats or bears or beavers or ferrets or other things like that. Bunny. That's pretty cool. Let's look at their outfits. Next up we have the Ellens. Now... Ellen's only queen female, and I'm really getting sick and tired of people saying they're a perverted man's thing. So shut up and just breed. Innocent waits, waifs in the outside, immortal spirits on the inside, imminent defeat to the other side. Never aging, the wise and battle-worn Ellen still appear as vulnerable and innocent as their goddess was in the moment of their creation. Also known as the daughters of Eluna, these divine spirits are committed to upholding their goddess's dream. Keep nature safe, no matter the cost. Let's check out their outfits. They're pretty cute. Again, you can make them into, like, cats, dogs, foxes, stuff like that. So, for the warrior, the basic one. I should have zoomed onto those. Fuck. Oh well, it doesn't matter. They're not as entertaining anyway. Notice how the uh, Ellen's leather armors look more like boyish clothes. So if you're interested in making a boyish character, you can with these types. You can try if you're that good at it. <laughs> See, these are pretty cute. I like them. Very cute. Next we have the Baraka. 
Which I don't give two shits about, because I think they're just ugly and horrible. <laughs> but that's just me. I think they're boring carrot classes, they really are. But, um, again, these ones only come in mail. Knowledge illuminates the past, focuses the present, and kindles the future. A, a peaceful and noble barracks are nonetheless ferocious in defense of the weak. They are descended from giants, so they have rejected the giants' lust for conquest. The imposing presence conceals the true strength of their minds. Barakas are giants in intellect as well as physically. Which I would assume they were more like priests and spiritual things. So this is the warrior for them. Let's take a look. That's so main outfit. Main outfits are just boring, so like, yeah, they're not too interesting. Pretty nice outfits, but uh, meh. Next is the high elves. Now, people get really weird about the high elves because they look the male. That's a female, obviously with the boobs, but the males look female, which I think is kind of nice. How elves, um, the elves in this game, happen to look rather natural and beautiful. Which is what they fucking should look like, not like in Bloody World of Warcraft. I'm sorry, but that really bugs me. But yeah, they're more, the more feminine looking, like the like elves are generally depicted as, which is why I like them. High elf faith in others is nothing but nothing without faith in oneself. High elves are eager to prove themselves trustworthy allies of the Federation. No one questions their skills, but some question their hearts. The elves strive to overcome their own xenophobia acquired in the aftermath of all too recent war. So let's check out their outfits. Oh, all the hip movements are still there. <laughs> now, for the uh, elves, if you have the issue like I do, don't go for the leather wearers because they just their armor always makes them look like they have breasts. It's really annoying. And it just doesn't look right. The outfit's nice, but it's just that bit really bothers me personally. They see, look at this. Why do you need this? It's just stupid. But again, it's a nice outfit. Did I, did I go around that one? There we go. Okay. This one's nice. See, this one is nice. This one I could deal with. And for the female, the last one. The female's boobs jiggle. Great. They're very pretty though. I didn't see this one actually, female warriors. Let's uh, have a look at them. They're kinky outfits. Ah, nice undies. The females tend to be very showy if you know if you noticed. Let's look at their outfits. See, not too bad, pretty nice. The Elfany, Elfany, as you could tell. Hmm. So nice. Oh, this one's really nice. I like that pattern thing. See, she'd go well with a Kastanik, <laughs> with that leopard print. So yeah, these have been the classes of the warrior, the blah, 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 the races of the warrior. Hope you've enjoyed this, and I shall now show you the, what the warrior can actually do in battle against BAMs! Okay, so let's just get right down to it. Um, these are BAMs, big ass monsters. You can tell because they're big ass monsters. Okay. Now, main skills for warrior are, as you can see, my taskbar down there. First one is your basic attack, so let's just get started. Pretty useful. Dodging! Okay, now it's locked on to me. Now, as a warrior, there are two roles the warrior can take. Defensive or offensive. I'm going to do offenses first. So you see the um, pink fist in my taskbar? We use this. And my attack rises. Basic dodge is... Right click if you want to use it that way. It's easier to do. But you can basically... Yeah dodge from these things and warriors are quite quick when they're dodging which is pretty useful but as you can see in the top corner I've still got my resolve and resolve is what decides if you can keep dodging or not 
It's pretty useful. So, there's a certain combo I use when I'm in this mode. It's this one. Which is stab, slice, and then a multiple stabs, and then a slice through. Now, third one is this. Ow. But you know, when I don't fall down. Pretty much used to... Now, warriors are pretty quick, so they can avoid being hit quite a lot when they're in combat. Not as slow as everything else is. My, they can also poison. You can poison, which takes off about, depends on what your level is. Jumping skills. Oh, it's down. Jumping. Critical hit power, which you dodge the jumps. <laughs> yeah. This one. But I missed. My favorite one is this one. It's a backstab. It's dead now. Wow. Why did you die? Okay, let me find another one. Over there. This is a rush move, which is what many people use to just get there quicker. But it also hurts. Okay. Now. Because I'm DPS at the moment, I can also tank. Which is a very cool thing to do. So I will try and show you tanking. Now. Because my resolve is high enough, I can change over, which means I can now do this. That is taunt. I can taunt the enemy, I can make it draw to me, which is how I can tank it. You have to taunt in order to get it on you, or attack harder, which is why priests have a hard time healing those who are uh, healing when they've got aggro attached to them, so a tank is usually always necessary. Someone that just has high damage to keep it on them. Now. I shall now change to dominant mode. Now, because I'm in dominant mode, I can still dodge. However, I can also now parry because of it. So let's try this. See? I can now defensive stance, which is pretty cool. So the warrior can physically tank. But my attack goes down. Now, because of being a tank uh, as a warrior, the taunting skill takes a lot less, a lot longer time to actually contract it. So if you're in danger, uh, it's pretty bad, but that's okay. Now, there's a skill here that you can only use oops, only use when you're in defensive stance and after parrying. So let's try and do that one. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Yes. Fucking wait till I've got my resolve up yet, jackass. Okay, let's try it, see if we can do it. Okay, and it gives a clone of you. That, so it ends up attacking the clone instead, while you get to go behind it and do a lot, do enough damage to it. The clone can hold it for a long enough time, as long as you're... I don't know, it's kind of random with that, really. The warrior can do two clones, which is pretty nifty. I'll try and show you the other one. So, if your taunt is not working, then there is another way you can solve the problem. Like, if the tank is not doing so great and you need help you can use this skill which causes a shadow clone again but this shadow clone happens to be more useful because it will take off uh, the aggro off of you as, and again so that you can um, you know re get your resolve back up which happens a l I, u I tend to use the shadow when uh, my resolve is really bad and low so it helps me get my taunt back up and my resolve back up so I can parry and dodge so it's it's be the warrior is very very handy. I love using it. I'll just do it. just do one more bam to show you if I can find one. I've killed them all. That's fine. I'll just kill another one. Hello, bam. I personally prefer the warrior because of the fact they can dodge a lot. Let's see if I can show you. So when you tank, you pretty much remember how to defend things, which is pretty cool. As I showed in my Lancer one. Or will show, depends which one I put up first. Come here, you bastard. Okay, so uh, defensive mode, let's have a look. See? Doesn't hit me. Defense is pretty good. However, if you're if the monster's too low, then it will sometimes be able to cut through your defense, which sucks, to be honest. There's two players here wondering what the fuck I'm doing in this level area. But whatever. <laughs> These crap things are really difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Which is fine. 
So you can still do skills, but notice that my um, attack is slightly lower. This also helps that that speed one also helps if you can't get close enough to the target to taunt it. Which is really cool. So all in all, I find the warrior to be extremely fascinating and fun to play with. If you like dodging and blocking. So if you want a DPS, then take the warrior. If you want a DPS, but you might want a tank, take the warrior because warriors are fun for dodging. Most of the time, I don't need to tank with um, tanking tanking with the parry skill because I can dodge out of the way in time. You need to really uh, concentrate on your resolve and make sure that's full or just so you can actually move with it because it's really it's basically your lifeline. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for uh, watching this sign guys. I hope you decide to take the warrior on. It's rather fun. Fun to do. Very fun to do. Motherfucker. What's the matter? Can't touch me? Huh? Huh? Can't touch me? Oh shit, can't touch me? Why well, you can't touch me? Dodging! Yeah, let's do another dodging one again. So yeah, three, two, one, and... Dodge. Okay, didn't work. My resolve was bad. Ugh. So yeah, I'll basically show you what I mean. Three, two, one, dodge! See, you will figure out they're pretty slow. Dodge! They're pretty slow depending on sometimes. You can figure out what they're gonna do. Ay, 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 ay. But again, because I'm on my own, sometimes, uh, if you're with no tank at all, then I tend to try and tank, but again, I don't need to tank if I don't have to, because... Oh shit. When the monsters are basically all over the place attacking everybody who's got strong or high def um, attacking, it's not too bad, but yeah. I personally find the warrior to be my favourite, because the fact that it's... Just the fact that I can tank, but I can be amazingly agile at the same time. I love that factor. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.